Kelly Dale Webb off the beaded path. Thanks so much for joining me today. I know that it's Thursday. It's not normally a day I put out videos, but this is a special video in our 12 days of Christmas promotion. So if you've been uh, on my social media, if you've been on my website, you've been following along. So this is one of those special projects. So I reached out to my friend and mentor, Deborah Birdie from AroundTheBeatingTable.com and asked her if she had any quick and easy projects that were great stash buster projects, if you needed any last minute Christmas gifts or things that you wanted to make. So she gave me several suggestions and she was amazing and gave me uh, full reign to do videos on it. So I'm super excited to tell you that today we are gonna be doing the starlight piece. Now this can be made into a pendant like this one here, or it can be made into an ornament. It's super fun, super easy, and it is a great stash buster because it literally takes only a handful of beads. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to aroundthebeatingtable.com or follow the link directly below the video in the video description. I have a direct link to this free pattern. This is completely free to you, okay? So, go to her website and grab this free pattern, all right? And then grab your beads and we're going to make this today. So, here's what you're going to need to make the piece you are going to need five feet of a six pound fire line. You are going to need about a hundred size 11 seed beads. You are going to need five three millimeter round beads. Now this can be a like a drop bead, it can be a pearl, it can be a fire polish bead, as long as it's a three millimeter bead. You're gonna need five four millimeter beads and she's made a special note it can be any bead type round bead glass pearls bicone or fire polish bead so again five beads is all you need you're going to need 30 super duo beads these are the regular duos not the minis okay so make sure they're the regular and then she calls for a closed jump ring which is going to be used here at the top of the piece so i want to make sure to grab you a jump ring there and then if you want to make a pendant you're going to need a chain or if you want to make an ornament you're going to need some sort of hook to do that with I'm gonna use a size 12 beading needle today and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step through this fabulous pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. One really quick note before we get started because I know I'm gonna get asked about it. The earrings that I have on are some of my favorite new earrings. I took this class with my friend Melody McDuffie who if you watched Monday's video, she was my special guest on that video and she is gonna be doing a Zoom class tomorrow which is December the 9th and she's also gonna be doing another one on Monday, December the 12th for those of you who maybe can't do it on Friday. So make sure, make sure to email Melody. Her email address is below in the item description box. Make sure to email and get yourself in this Zoom class because you will not be sorry. These earrings were so fun to make and there are such great different things that you can do with them as far as short, long, the, the, the little dangles that you do on them. I got so many compliments on these earrings. So make sure to get into Melody's Zoom class, either December the 9th, 2022, or December the 12th, 2022. And again, her email and her contact is below me here in that little item description box. So now let's get started. Okay, so I have my colors laid out here. I'm gonna be using a creamy beige duo. I'm using the Pad Pardacia Crystal, which shall not be named. I am using five three millimeter bronze pearls, maybe antique bronze, I think. And then I'm using a bronze size 11 seed bead there. So those are the colors that I'm gonna be using. So she says, uh, step one, leaving about a six inch tail uh, string five seed beads. Tie the beads together into a circle with a tight double knot forming a ring of five beads. Step two, go through the seed bead next to the knot on the ring highlighted in red. Okay, so we're going to start out five beads. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to bring them down. 
And she says, tie the beads together. So we're gonna grab a hold and just tie them together just like this. Okay, be careful that you do not get your knot caught up in in any seed beads, or I guess I should say that backwards. Don't get any seed beads caught up in the knot, all right? So she says, go through the bead next to the knot. So it doesn't matter if I go to the left or to the right, I'm just gonna go through one of my seed beads here next to the knot. So I'll go through that bead. Okay, so we're through step two. So step three says, string a four millimeter bead let me grab that. A seed bead, okay? Three super duos, a seed, and another four. So when you pick up your duos, make sure to look at the holes, make sure they're not plugged or anything. So I've got my three duos here. And then it was a seed bead and a four millimeter. So here are the beads again that I have. I've got my four millimeter, a seed, three duos, a seed, and my four millimeter. She says, go around and back across through the seed bead on the ring of five beads that you exited at the end of the last step. So in other words, I'm gonna make a circle. So the bead I'm coming out of, I'm just gonna make a circle. And then it says, go through the next seed bead on the ring of five. So my thread is coming out to the right, my working thread of my base bead. So I'm gonna come back through that same bead so that I make a circle. And it looks just like this when you do that. So step four was continue through the next bead. So I'm just gonna go through the next bead there on my little set of five beads here in the center. <clears throat> Step five, string a four millimeter bead, a seed bead, three super duos, and a seed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this while we're, so it's a four millimeter, a seed, three duos, and a seed bead. Now, Go around and down through the four millimeter bead that you added in step three. Okay, so this is just saying we're making a circle. Our thread is coming out here and we're just gonna make a circle by coming through this four millimeter bead here. And the seed bead on the ring of fives that you, that you exited at the end of the last step. And go through the next seed bead on my ring of fives. So I'm gonna first make a circle, okay? And then I'm gonna come through that next bead. So my thread is coming out here to the right. So I'm just gonna come around and I'm gonna come through the four millimeter here and the size 11 seed bead that my thread is currently exiting. So when I do this and I pull this, now it gives me this. And I'm gonna continue through the next seed bead on my ring of five here in the center. So, so far, this is what I've got. Step seven, string a four millimeter, a seed bead, three duos, and a seed bead. All right, so let's do that. Four millimeter, seed bead, three duos, and a seed bead. Go around and across through the four millimeter bead that you added in step five and the seed bead on the ring of five beads that you exited at the end of the last step. And then step eight, go through the next seed bead on the ring of five. So again, our thread is coming out here. We're just making a circle to come back through a four millimeter and a seed bead. And then we're gonna go through that next seed bead. So this is what it looks like. I've got this, my thread is again exiting to the right. So I'm just gonna take my needle and I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna come through the bicone and the seed bead. So for my left-handed friends, if I just flip this around here, okay, my thread is coming out to the left. So again, 
If you're left-handed, this is probably what yours is gonna be similar to looking like. I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna come back through the four millimeter and then through the size 11 seed bead there, pull it through. So it's gonna look like this. And now I'm just gonna continue on through the next size 11 seed bead here on this ring of five in the center. Boom, that's what we got so far. Okay, so again, at this point, it don't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, we all should be looking the same. Step nine, we're basically gonna do this again. We are going to string a four millimeter, a seed bead, three duos and a seed bead. And we're gonna go around and up through the four millimeter bead you added in step seven, the seed bead on the ring of five, and then step 10 is we, oh, oh, we're going to have to hold off. It's not exactly the same. So let's do this first. We got our bike home, our seed bead, our three duos, and our seed bead. And this time we come around to make our circle. We go through the four millimeter and the bead that we're coming out of here on our ring of five. And now step 10 says we are gonna go through the next seed bead on our ring of five and then up through the four millimeter bead. So we're gonna go through the seed bead and then through the first four millimeter that we added. So seed bead. And then right here, boom, I'm gonna come right up through that four millimeter, just like that. And pull that through. So that when I do, this is what I should have so far. Loving these colors, they're kinda looking beachy. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down for just a second while I get my pattern out here. Step 11, string a seed bead, three duos, and a seed bead. Go around and through the four millimeter bead, the seed bead on the ring of five, and the four millimeter highlighted in red. So we were coming out of this four millimeter here. So this just means we're picking up our beads and we're gonna come through the last four millimeter that we added, through the 11 on the ring of five, and then up through that four millimeter again. So again, we're just making a circle. So I pick up my seed bead, my three duos, my seed bead, and remember, this was my first duo, or not duo, bicone, four millimeter. This is my last four millimeter, so I come around to make that circle. So I go through the four millimeter and the 11-0 on the base, my base ring of five there, pull this through, and then I come through the four millimeter right there where my thread's coming out. It's my first four millimeter that I added as I added my little loops of duos here. So I pull it through, and when I do it, this is what I should have at this point. You'll see I have my five bicones here in the center, and then I have one, two, three, four, five sets of duos. Step 12, go back across through the seed bead, the three duos and the seed beads highlighted in red. So originally I was coming out right here. So I'm just gonna continue through the seed bead, the three duos and the seed bead. So right where my thread is exiting here, I'm gonna continue on through the seed bead, the three duos, and I'm going through the same holes I've already been through. Okay, so I'm not jumping up to these. I'm staying on the holes I've already been through. And then through the seed bead right after them. So it looks just like this. 
So step 13 says, go around through this circle of seed beads and the inside hole of the duo beads highlighted in red to tighten up the circle. So all this means is I'm just going to, from where I'm coming out, I'm just gonna go through the 11s and the duos around, just picking up and pulling tightly as I go. So I'm not picking up any beads, I'm just stitching through them to tighten the ring up and to connect these beads together. So you'll see there, I'm just gonna continue on. There are 11, three duos, 11. 11, three duos, and 11. And you'll want to be careful on this step to make sure that your needle, or not your needle, but your thread does not get caught on any of the duos that you've previously got in place. If you go, I don't know where I started. I can't see where I started and where I finished this. Just either, number one, pay attention to where your tail thread is because you were right there at the tail thread, or just pay attention to see if you have a thread that connects these two 11 beads together here. If you don't, you know you haven't gone all the way around and you have to keep going. So I know that my tail is right here. I can see that these 11s, all of these are 11s here are pulled tight against each other so that I am getting close to where I started so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to continue. It says, 14 says to go back around and through the seed bead and the three super duo beads. So when I finish, I am not going to go through the next 11. I'm stopping here at the duo. All right, so you can see right there, that's where I'm stopping. So that step was step 14, where I just continued through those three beads. 15, go around and through the outside hole of the same duo you are currently exiting. So all I'm doing is I'm doing that step up. So I'm coming out here and I'm gonna step right up through that last bead that I'm coming out of. So I'm here and I'm gonna come right up through the bead there. Step 16, string a super duo bead and go through the outside hole of the bead highlighted in red. So I'm picking up a duo and I'm going straight through the next duo. And I'm gonna go ahead and read step 17 too. 17 is string a super duo and go through the outside hole of the duo highlighted in red. So you can see here, I'm gonna be picking up two duos. So I pick up a duo and I go through the next duo sticking up. And then I pick up a duo and I go through the next duo sticking up. Eighteen, string a three millimeter bead and go through the outside hole of the duo highlighted in red. So coming out of this duo, I'm gonna pick up my little three millimeter and I'm gonna come across and go through the duo here. Now, if we look, you can see steps 19, 20, 21 are all the same step basically, or we're just doing a repeat of our steps. So let's go ahead. We're gonna put on a three millimeter and go through the next duo. And I'm going always through the top outside holes here. So now it's a duo, go through the duo, duo, go through. And when you come to your little hole here, you know that that's where your three millimeter is gonna come into play. So duo. duo, 
and I'm at the little open hole here, so that's a three millimeter. Duo, duo. Three millimeter. Oh, and we're taking shape now. So duo, duo, and this time when I add my three millimeter here, I'm actually going to finish out the row by coming through this bead here. This is the last bead of my row. So that puts my, all of my little beads in place. Now, step 22 is I'm going to continue through this duo, this duo, and this duo. So I'm going through three. So one, two, and... Well, I ain't gonna be able to get through all three of them at one time. Three. There we go. So you can see there, I've gone through one, two, and three. So that takes care of that. So that was step 22. All right, you can see that is what 22 is. 23, string two seed beads and go around and through the outside hole of the same duo your, you just exited. So I'm coming out here, so I'm gonna pick up two seed beads and I'm gonna come through the top hole of the same bead. So I go one, two, and my thread is coming out this way, so I'm going to work back and go through the top hole just like that. Step 24 says that we are gonna string a duo and go through the next duo. Okay, so this is what's gonna give us our pretty point there. And so that was step 24. So step 25 says string two seed beads. Go around and through the inside hole of the same super duo you exited, the outside hole of the super duo bead and the inside hole highlighted. So all this means, okay, in layman terms, when we add our duo here and we come through, that's the first thing we're gonna do, so we've done that. Now we're gonna pick up two 11s and we're gonna come back around and we're gonna go through our three duos. So bottom hole, top hole, bottom hole. So you can see, boom, I'm just coming around and across. So I pick up two beads here. And I'm gonna come down through the bottom hole, top hole, bottom hole. So basically straight across, just like that. So that, that puts my two seed beads on that side. Step 26 says go through the two seed beads. So I'm going through the two right above where my thread is coming out, right there. Now step 27 is string two seed beads and go through the outside hole of the Super Duo highlighted in red, which is gonna be this top one here. So I have my two beads and I'm gonna come through the top hole of that duo, just like that. Step 28 is string two more seed beads and I'm gonna come down through the two seed beads here that are in place. So just like that. So that gets us all the way to 28. 29, go back through the Super Duo beads highlighted in red. So I'm basically gonna come around, I'm here. I'm gonna come through the bottom hole, top hole, bottom hole. So I'm going straight across. And then step 30, go through the four seed beads highlighted in red. So I'm just gonna, once I do this and I come around, then I'm just gonna come up through these four beads. So again, I'm going straight across. This is why it's important to use a size 12 needle for this project. It makes your life a lot easier. And then I'm gonna go up through the four seed beads that I have in place. 
Step 31 says I'm going to string five seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go through the four seed beads on this side. Just like that. And once again, I'm going to come back through these three duos again. So one, two, and three. Then I'm going to continue on through, let me pull this out of the way, the duo, the three millimeter, and then one, two, three, four duos. So I'm gonna go through the duo and the three millimeter. Through one, two, three, and four. Just like that. So this gets me at the next point. Now, all of the rest of my points are going to be exactly the same. So if you follow step 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, then that shows you how to do the next little point and they're all exactly the same. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going and doing all points exactly the same. All right, so I'm going to continue until I get to step, I'm going to get here to step 44, okay? I'm going to do 44, and then I'm going to get to 45, okay? So I will meet you back at step 45. So after doing all of the steps, this is what your piece should look like. So that finished out step 45. Okay, so 46, string a seed bead and go through the three millimeter bead. So we're gonna be putting on a seed bead going through here. 46, string a seed bead, and then we're gonna come all the way around through those. So, seed bead, go through the three millimeter, And if you're like me, you're gonna have a little bit of a, have to work it in there. Okay, so we go there, and then we're gonna pick up a seed bead, and we're gonna go up through all the seed beads we have of this point. And you see how that kind of ties that together. Instead of having big open gaps like we have here, now we have something that looks more closed together. Just continue on. And you get all the way around here to come out on the other side right before the three millimeter. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do this all the way around until we get to our last point, at which point we are going to put our beads in again. Or we're gonna put our little hanger, is what I should say. So I'm gonna go around and I'm going to continue putting in my little um, seed beads here, just like we did on this step. We put those all the way around so that when I finish and I come up and I add these last ones, I'm gonna come out of this little point seed bead there. So you can see now how all your little holes are filled in. Now we're ready to add the little topper. So I'm actually going to make mine into an ornament. So I'm gonna use a jump ring that's a little bit larger than what she calls for in the pattern. Again, just because I'm gonna make mine into an ornament. So 
uh, going to step 50, I'm going to pick up two of my seed beads and my jump ring. Now I'm gonna hang on to this jump ring and I'm gonna let my two seed beads come all the way down, just like this. And I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna come back down through the seed bead because remember, I got my jump ring up here. That jump ring, when I go through that seed bead, is gonna hold that jump ring in place. Now I'm gonna pick up a seed bead. This is step 51. And if I pull this back, pull everything back, you can see there that my thread was coming out to the left. So now I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna come through that same bead here going from right to left. So I'm gonna pull everything back tight again. And then I'm gonna go from right to left so that it makes a little, almost um, like a riding a weave, a little that's how it looks, I should say. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna reinforce this again. And you can reinforce it a couple of times just by going through the beads. We're not adding anything. We're just going through them. Just like that. And how pretty is that? I love it. So when you get that step complete, Deb says to, um, let's see, so this finishes out what I already have done. So step 54, go back around through the outer edge of seed beads and three millimeter beads highlighted in red. So all this is gonna do, this is gonna help to stiffen everything up again. So you're just going through the 11s and the three millimeters here along the edge. She says, weave your way back into the star knot and cut your thread. If you want to make the star more stiff and less floppy, dip into some floor wax and let dry overnight on wax paper. Attach the jump ring to a hook of the ornament or slip it onto a chain. And you definitely want to make sure, she's got a little note, if you'd like to be notified of new patterns, go to aroundthebeatingtable.com and click on join the mailing list. You definitely want to join her mailing list. Deb Roberti has some wonderful patterns at aroundthebeatingtable.com. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's special video on the starlight pendant or ornament. Again, make sure, if you do not know Deborah Birdie, make sure to go to aroundthebeatingtable.com and follow her. She has a ton of amazing patterns as well as a lot of free patterns. I can tell you as someone who had just got starting in the beading world, uh, when I was younger, she is the my mentor. Like She is that person that I always went and I purchased her patterns. I'm sure I paid quite a few of her grocery bills um, because her designs are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I know you will not be disappointed. So make sure to go and grab the Starlight pattern today. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you to Deb for allowing me to do the video on your beautiful Starlight piece. Mm -hmm.